Hey good people, welcome to Robbo Land's Vids. My name is Rob Wheatley. I hope you're doing well. Good afternoon, or evening, or night time, or whatever it is, wherever you are. It's uh, 5.20, which means it's completely pitch black here, as it is from about midday onwards. <laughs> We've got colder weather than Iceland over here, apparently, at the moment, which is ridiculous. I mean, the clue's in the title, Iceland. Ice, and we're colder than that. We're as cold as ice, except a bit colder, and it doesn't suit me very well at all. I've those of you who follow the channel know that I've been away for a little bit the last couple of months, I haven't really done a lot. Um, thanks for those of you who have reached out and uh, sent us messages and that. Um, Mercurial number six, it was good talking to you the other night. Thank you very much, mate. Jefferson Einstein, great to hear from you again, old boy. Um, top stuff, mate. Um, thank you for the concerns. Matt as well, been in touch. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still here. You know, just, just winter slows me down quite a lot um, and it takes me a bit of getting used to and... Uh, I don't like it very much and I haven't been feeling very bouncy and very lively and I don't really like doing videos when I'm not really on form so um, I'm feeling pretty good this afternoon anyway and I thought I'd rattle another video out, a couple of things to talk about, a couple of brilliant new channels I've discovered which I think you might well enjoy um, and probably a little bit of guitar stuff if these hands are working. Uh, the temperature in here at the moment is about 13 or 14 degrees even though I've got the heating on. Um, the heating in this place is such that it will remain about 13 degrees and it will be blooming freezing and I can't move my hands and then suddenly it's about 30 and I start sweltering and I turn the heating off again and then it's freezing again. It's this constant battle between me and the thermostat and the electricity company so um, you know if I was king of the world vote for me to be king of the world it's you know just put a cross on a bit of paper and, and stick it in a box. If I'm king of the world what I think I'm going to do is have everybody on the planet injected with the DNA of a bear or a tortoise or another hibernatory animal and uh, basically everybody on the planet will go to sleep at the end of October or whenever your winter starts over here it's the end of October and won't wake up again till the end of March so we negate all this daylight saving grollocks um, you know better for the planet there'll be less people born so there's less population on the planet which is a good thing there'll be less consumption of stuff uh, there'll be much more beer on the shelves when we all go back and because you know the laws of economic supply and demand it'll be a lot cheaper so we can all get absolutely hammered for very little money you know it makes sense vote for me king of the world cross on a bit of paper stick it in a box and, and hope for the best you know it can't be any worse than what we've got at the moment can it it probably can actually <laughs> oh, right i'm gonna um First of all, before we get on the beer of the day and some guitar bits and pieces, I want to give a shout out to a couple of guitar channels. Um, first one is Tom Goldsmith Guitar. Tom Goldsmith Guitar, there'll be a link under here. Not not under here, under under here. Under this video, you look at the link. Tom Goldsmith Guitar, um, discovered this channel a few weeks ago. Uh, you very kindly commented on one of my videos where I was jamming out on the guitar. Then he came up with a comment which was, um, nice modal transformations. And it was, I had to write back and say thank you, but I must admit, I don't really think in those terms. Um, I know what the modes are, I know how to get them, but I'm not really fluent and it's not a way that I tend to think a lot of the time. Um, most of the time I'm singing stuff in my head or playing drum machines in my head or recording studio in my head. And if that happens, you know, microsecond before I actually hit the string, then I get nice tunes coming out. Um, <clears throat> and I went and checked out his channel and he's got some brilliant videos on there. Um, and I really suggest you, you know, don't be put off by the word modes and things like that. Um, some people go into ludicrous detail and fill your head with all this theory about if you're playing this chord. Tom doesn't tend to do that on his vids. What he'll basically do is he'll say, this is one of the modes, for example, the Locrian, which I did learn. All right. it, again, it's one I've been playing for years and never really knew the, knew the name of. So he'll say something like, this is a Locrian and A, and he'll, he'll tell you the fingering, you know. Something like that. I say, my hands are cold, they're just not working. And then he'll basically say, this is something I've been working on with it. Have a go. And it's just been really interesting. He does some really shreddy stuff with lots of distortion and stuff. If shreddy stuff is your business, and he'll come up with some really, really cool riffs and explain how they're done. Um, and other things, um, there's improvisations, there's bits of music he's working on. He's a great lad, um, really friendly guy. Go check him out. Um, he's not getting the views he deserves at the moment, I don't think. And um, I think it's got the potential to be a really good channel in time, uh, a really big channel. And uh, so, thank you very much, mate. And it's, as I say, even though I don't tend to think in those terms, I think a lot of us old guitarists, especially us old old buggers like me, um, will pick up a guitar and tend to go for the same, you know, sort of 
bluesy bits and pieces or whatever it is we tend to do. And so the idea for me um, with coming up with a new album and writing, starting to write new stuff is I want to break out of that a little bit. And I just want my fingers and things to be knowing that they can do other things um, and just give me some new colours and some new ideas and things to work with. So um, I've been following his channel, got some really great ideas and one of the really ludicrous shreddy riffs he's come up with, I am going to learn. I probably won't play it on camera because <laughs> not until um, the end of March anyway when it all warms up and my fingers are working again um, but do go check him out um, you know see what you think it's the videos are short and sweet usually you know five minutes sort of long there's nothing wrong with filling your head with tons of theory and I do tend to go and do that I go and watch Adam Neely and stuff like that and um, if you don't know Adam Neely uh, that's a brilliant brilliant channel as well but it can just my head feels like it's exploding sometimes um, but yeah go check out Tom um, and just get some new ideas get your fingers working in different ways get your brain and your fingers coming up with different things <clears throat> it's all food for thought which I always think is a brilliant brilliant thing so that's recommendation number one nice one the second recommendation is a guy called Steve Gilson six strings attached TV and again there'll be a link down here not down here on my knee, that's my knee, uh, not on my knee, I could put a link on my, I could, I could write it on a bit of paper and do that, that's a shopping list, tomatoes, pepper, milk, egg, chutney, beans, lice, it doesn't actually say beer on it because that's just a foregone conclusion isn't it, but um, yeah, uh, Steve Gilson, Six Strings Attached TV, um, yeah this guy knows his business, he's obviously a classical classically trained player and I think a little bit of flamenco and stuff like that um, and some really interesting ways of looking at things. I will link I think in particular to a video of his where he's showing this um, fast finger picking rock guitar techniques. Now myself who's a mainly sort of plays finger style or, a ver or my own version of finger style where you have this sort of thumb doing your bass lines and your fingers up here doing other things what he's showing is a complete mind bender and finger bender and I'm determined to get it right. It's basically his pattern and it's very counterintuitive uh, which is why it's going to be so much fun to get, get my head around. I'm working on it and basically this idea is you play, so we'll just do it all on the E string, I'll hold the 12th fret and it's thumb followed by third finger, second finger, first finger, so you've got four note pattern. Oh hang on. Freezing, they're really not working. He does it at ludicrous speed, and I'll link you to one of his videos on there. But also go check his playlist. He's got another playlist um, on his channel, which is I think labelled um, Fast Finger Style Rock Guitar Techniques, and it's three videos, and he expands on that idea, and it's just brilliant. Um, and I've been checking out a few of his other videos and stuff, and that's going to be something I'm really interested in getting my head around. Um, I think it's going to take me weeks or months, probably to get anywhere near <coughs> fluid on this because it is, as he says, a complete rewiring of motor skills and brain techniques um, and he's even sort of putting this four, four note pattern over three note riffs so it's constantly alternating. He's also got things where he will have the thumb playing a higher string than the fingers are which again is completely counterintuitive but go and check it out check the video out I've linked to under here not on my knee not on the floor but under 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 here look just see see where it says Steve Jill Smith Jillson six strings attached that press that you won't be disappointed and it will probably blow your mind and if you've got the guts to do it practice it and see where you go um, I'm gonna be brave and have a go at it myself and uh, see where it all goes anyway this video mostly it was really to give you a nod to those those two guys channels I am um, you know, if, if, if you've got some other recommendations of channels which are pushing you in a different direction or something like that, you know, uh, making you think in different ways, something, not just another bloody overdrive pedal review, you know, or just whatever, something that's actually going to expand and turn you into another direction, um, give us a shout, let us know, all right, because I'm, I'm, I'm really up for that sort of stuff at the moment. Um, it at least goes into my brain even if my hands can't do it. I've still got a bit of problem, I'm having problems with this arm again, tendon problems and stuff as a lot of you know I had to take six months off playing at the beginning of the year uh, because of it and so it's, it's playing up a little bit in this weather. Um, I fell over a dog basically a few years ago, <laughs> I 
fell over a dog. I was walking through the park up the road here and this dog was bouncing around this little puppy. And as I was walking like this, the dog... And as I was trying to avoid this dog, the dog suddenly charged between my legs and then went back this way. I went to fall over, thought I was falling over on this arm, so I stuck this arm out. And then the dog ran into my knee and I completely went the other direction and sliced... It's still a scar, it's a big old scar there. Sliced that open quite deep, quite badly. Screwed up a tendon in there, something. And for the next sort of year or so, these pains are shooting up all this arm and down across my shoulder and all down here. And it seems to be this arm that's affected by it. So, I don't know what it's like for people who come from your planet, but on my planet, that's quite normal, apparently. So, um, I'm having a battle with a bit of that to say the cold weather ain't helping. Um, let's have a beer, shall we? I'll just ramble a bit and have a bit. So yeah, I just want to, yeah, mostly this video is really to say, look, I'm not dead, I'm not, uh, you know, freaked out, I haven't, I haven't done a runner. A little bit of mild pre-winter depression and things which has been battled, but it's just, yeah, you know, I just fancied a bit of a break. Um, I got a bit sick of all the BS and stuff that goes on here, various people and things. I'm not going to say more about that, you know, my opinions on that sort of stuff um, and how I tend to deal with it. Um, there you go. So let's have a beer first of all. I'll put this down and then let's open a beer up. Oh, God. Oh, that's the one. Oh, God. Thank God it's not a brand new ovation. Oh, it is a brand new ovation. Let's just try and put that there so I don't fall over because I've got a lead in there. There we go. Stay, 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 stay. Good. Now, we're going to have a beer because, you know, that's traditional, isn't it? Spitfire. Spitfire, so you feel you can bug me and nick my Spitfire. Copyright strike. Today, this 4.5 percent. I don't even have to look. 4.5 percent. I'm going to play a bit of guitar in a minute. I'm going to attempt something. I'm going to show you uh, something I've been working on, um, which again, hopefully, might give you another direction to. Uh, take your brains and your fingers um, it's basically sort of slap style finger style this isn't the slap style like Victor Wooten or Rob Scallon or any of that sort of stuff this is basically a very um, uh, anyway this is a uh, beer shall we Spitfire cheers people nice work oh. Oh. them hops though them hops this is from Kent where they where they basically grow Hops and have done for thousands and millions of years. Oh man, that's nice. <coughs> Slap style, finger style, guitar. You would have heard this rhythm probably on all sorts of things. Uh, fast and again apologies for the um Not sexually, obviously, but uh, you know, they're not really working. But <clears throat> this is a great little rhythm and it can be adapted and you can add to it and you can expand it and all that sort of stuff. But basically what I'm doing um, is, let's have a look. We'll hold a E7, the two finger E7 thing. So um, second finger on the G string on the first fret and third finger on the second fret of the A string, that one. We're going to slide the whole thing up and bar it at the 5th fret to give ourselves an A7, alright? And we've got some little lead notes that are going to come in, which I'll, which I'll tell you about in a sec. But for now, um, basically the rhythm is... That thing. Um, and it works nice slow, it works nice fast, you can add all sorts of other stuff into it. And it gives you basically, you get a bass note, so you've got your bass drum if you move that out, and also you've got a bit of a snare drum effect. So you've got a groove building up. Um, 
The, the picking pattern that I'm using, really basic and you can vary this yourself. First of all is a pinch. So I'm using basically thumb and first and second finger. And so initial thing is a pinch and I'm using thumb on the bass string and uh, second finger on the B string. Yep. Or we can have both these fingers working here. That's the first move. Is that a pinch? Yep. You don't move your arm like that because I'm just demonstrating. And then we slap. And all I'm doing is sort of digging my fingers in. I'm not flattening my hand. I'm not doing that. I'm not taking a big run up and belting the shite out of my guitar. This works nice on electric guitars and I'd say if you're going to do that, like if you've got um, sort of a double humbucker thing, stick it in the middle setting because the slap works really nice against the pickups there and if you're using a stratty type thing, three pickup thing, combination of the front and middle or back and middle pickups, you know, uh, front pickup, front bottoms as we always say here. Um, and it's all about the slap is the most important thing I find on this. Normally with finger style, my foot is tapping along to the thumb. I found while teaching this, it's actually better to have the foot tapping to the slap. Tap the slap. Um, it just helps the brain cope with everything that's going on. All right, so the first move is a pinch. Doesn't matter how many fingers you use, you can do all three of these if you like. But it's bass note and top three strings or whatever. All right, next bit, thumb. And then we pick a two string. Yep. And then we slap. So, first move, pinch, slap. Next thing, thumb. First finger, second finger, slap. So we get. Now here at the end of that we got a bit of a black hole so I just pick that string again and it just gives a nice little note to bring us back. Okay so pinch, slap, thumb, one, two, slap, first finger again and that's what we get. As always, the more relaxed this hand is, the better. We don't want it stiff because it's fighting against itself. Again, if we have it loose, you tend to get more of a pendulum effect from the weight of your hand. I, I find that's a lot easier for keeping the rhythm going. It's sort of like those chi things where you're sort of doing all this, you're not, that's chi explained, that's thousands and thousands of years of culture explained in a second. It's not, it's more like that. So, works nicely. If, working on a little thing here so the a7 thing and then we've got a little lead and we're counting from the bar finger here um, you know always good to be near a bar so there's my bar so we're gonna play on the B string third fret from the bar then open E string or bar E string and then we're gonna do second fret on the top E string then open so we get third fret on the B open on the top E second fret on the top E, open on the top E. We can then move that up to 10th uh, fret for a B. And we can have, God, see, it's just not working, this hand is cold. Um, third fret on the B, open on the E, and then we can go third fret on the E, and open. And we can just move this around, and if you, I 
I will try and get that right and do that again on another video. Um, we're up to 20 minutes at the moment. This hand is obviously not doing what it's meant to today, but hopefully that might be something that might, you know, get some grooves. It works nicely. Um, anybody don't slap people slap your guitar it's much nicer and it's kinder to the environment and you don't get arrested and people don't get hurt all right be nice to each other play nice or don't play at all catch you on the next one thanks for watching see you later good people ta -da.